gastric bypass. So similar to the sleeve, six tiny incisions on your abdomen between the size of your thumbnail and the size of your thinking nail. This one takes about an hour and a half to two hours. You're in the hospital overnight, out of work for one to two weeks. With the bypass, we divide the top of the stomach to create a little stomach pouch. Now it's about the size of a tennis ball. Then we reroute the intestine to that tennis ball sized stomach. So food goes from that little stomach pouch directly into the intestine, bypassing the old stomach, hence the name gastric bypass. Okay? In the process, it also bypasses all of this intestine, about a meter and a half of intestine, without any absorption or digestion. It doesn't start to get digested till lower down, where we reconnect the intestine coming from the old stomach. And so that's where it meets up with all the digestive juices coming from the old stomach and the liver and the pancreas and so forth, and digestion really starts to happen. So in addition to the smaller stomach and the restrictive effect, you also have some malabsorption or maldigestion, okay? Now the downsides of the bypass, they all have downsides, right? One, dumping syndrome. Anytime you eat anything high in sugar, carbs, anything like that, about 20 to 30% of people, they feel terrible, feel like crap, okay? You have, uh, you feel, what patients describe it as is you feel like you have a hangover and a hot flash only one, and you have to run to the bathroom and have diarrhea. So if you are a sugar eater, this really helps you avoid it, because once you experience it once, you never want to have it again, all right? Um, two, malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies. Because we're rerouting that intestine, and you have some malabsorption, maldigestion, you're at increased risk for malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies, okay? That is usually well controlled with a healthy diet and multivitamins, all right? And with bypass, most of them, with, with most of the surgeries, you are on bariatric multivitamins the rest of your life to maintain good vitamin levels. And we check it annually to make sure we keep up with it, okay? Um, three, all of the operations actually tend to make you a little more gassy, but the bypass and the switch even more so, so you do tend to fart some more. So something to know about, okay? Um, and lastly, this is very rare, but I always mention it, because we're rerouting the intestine, you can get some scar tissue lower down in the intestine. Um, the bowel can get trapped and that scar tissue can cause a bowel obstruction. Very rare, it does not happen often at all. The only reason I mention it is because if it happens, it requires another operation to cut away that scar tissue. Okay?